Okay, this is a fun one. So you know, if you watch many of my videos, I love to double things, right? Especially in just straight up rock music. You got one guitar sounds good, pan it to the left, record it again, pan it to the right. Good to go. You can change the tone if you want, but sometimes recording the exact same thing, just playing it twice, putting one left and one right is glorious. But sometimes you don't have that luxury. Let's say you're mixing a song and it desperately needs doubled guitars but you didn't record double guitars or someone else recorded it and they're requesting you to do some miracle work after the fact and all you have is a single guitar track, what can you do? Let me show you, this is really fun. First of all, what you don't do, let me hide these just to make this a little easier to see. Here's our guitar track. Um, here's what it sounds like, just in case you're curious. So it was recorded in stereo with two microphones, so it already has some width to it. And to be fair, I would probably leave that alone, but it makes for a good example. So the first thing, if I was wanting to create the sound of a double here, uh, the thing we're not going to do is duplicate track complete, pan one left and right. You've seen me talk about this before, but I have to keep talking about it because people keep forgetting. Pan it left and right because that doesn't do anything. Just made it louder. Um, and then what some people will do is this naughty thing where they'll take the second track here and they'll slide it back just a little bit in time. Turn off, uh, snap to grid. They'll do something like this. And on the surface, that sounds amazing, but listen to what it sounds like in mono. All the low end disappeared. Here's just one guitar got some fullness to it. With two guitars, it's a little louder, so it sounds a little fuller. I'm going to delete that because it makes me sick. I'm going to pan this back to the center and come out of mono. But here, that's the full sound. We just made it sound worse. A little stereo, but worse because it, that's out of phase. Taking the two copies of the same recording, the same performance, two microphones, and messing with the the phase alignment of them causes all whole bunches of frequencies to get canceled out. It's just not great, and there's a funner way to do it. Yes, funner is a word. I'm going to turn Snap to Grid back on. So this song, this little method I'm going to show you, only works if you have songs where sections repeat themselves and the guitarist plays similar parts in those sections. So here is chorus, let's name this chorus one, and then over here is chorus two. So you can listen to chorus one here. And then chorus two hopefully does the same thing. Yep, same thing. So it's a prime candidate for some copy and paste action. This is really fun. So this applies, I know I'm showing you with like this sweet little finger style guitar, but this can apply to uh, rock guitars. Really, I've done this on so many different things. Um, I'll show you how it works exactly here. So first we've got this, the, the primary guitar. We'll call this the OG. This is the original. And then we're going to just create a duplicate track and call, this will be called the, the double. We're kind of making our own double this way. So we'll pan the first one to the left, second one to the right. And we currently don't have anything on the second one because we're kind of going to piece it together. So I'm going to grab the chorus two here, copy it, and we're going to come down to this track and paste it here. So we're listening to now chorus one on the left, chorus two on the right, and that sounds like, whoops, this. It is glorious, it is stereo, it is a proper double because those are two different performances. I played the song through all the way, so chorus one and chorus two are different takes and we're just playing them together to give it a nice doubled sound. Should still sound fine in mono. It's not as great because it is two of the same thing and they're pretty similar. So there's a little phasiness happening, but it's not technically out of phase, which makes me happy. And we can do the same thing. What you could do with this is just have this happen in the chorus and then maybe go back to the single guitar for the verses and pan that back to the middle. That could be a cute way of doing it. Let's talk about how that would work. I'm gonna look at automation panning. So I press A to show them the panning lanes and I could do something like this. I could say, I want you to be panned in the center 
for the verses, and I just want to go stereo for the choruses. So it would, the transition, it might sound awkward, it might not work, but it would sound like this. That could work. I don't love things jumping like that around, but if you had more production around it, that might be interesting. Um, but I've done this with so many things. You can do it with piano parts, guitar parts, really anything where they played the same thing multiple times throughout the song. You can start moving things around to your heart's content. We could technically probably pull this together for the entire song. We would take like chorus one here and copy it and paste it over for chorus two there. The bridge wouldn't work because that's a different... Actually, let's see if we can make the bridge work. <laughs> this is fun. We actually can because this bridge is the same progression, just done twice. We could do this. Copy. Come to this track. Paste. Let's go pan this one back to the left. Let's see if that works. And then do it for the second half. Obviously, there might be spots in the song where that doesn't work, but you can see how without bringing out the microphones, bringing out the guitarists, bringing out you know, tuning up the guitar and all those things, which are completely valid and probably that's the best answer. But sometimes, sometimes software can be a great solution because now we've got this beautiful doubled guitar and all we started with was a single guitar recording. Go try this on a track. It's not just for guitars. It can work for all kinds of stuff, but go try it and see how it works. If nothing else, this is a great trick to have in your bag of tricks because it will come in handy at some point. Thanks for watching. See ya.